Thank you very much. The three speakers before me talked about DNA and the fossils, and uh, I listened with great interest. In a nutshell, DNA and fossils, when you study them, you are able to find out how humans became modern humans or contemporary humans. I also would like to make research in that uh, line of thought as well, but uh, I focus more on the evolution of the human mind. So as to how I do that is that when you look at mind and behavior, so, uh, you don't find that in the DNAs or in studying fossils. So if you observe uh, the sort of the mind and uh, the uh, behaviors of uh, animals uh, uh, around us, perhaps we will be able to elucidate the evolution of the human mind. And therefore, I would like to talk about the chimpanzees and bonobos that I have been studying in order to reach that stage. I would like to talk about uh, the intellectual aspect of chimpanzees and bonobos, as we call them, social intelligence. On the left is chimpanzee, the right is bonobo. Chimpanzees and uh, bonobos uh, are uh, creatures, uh, living beings, uh, the, which are closest uh, to human beings. Uh, however, uh, they are not humans, and therefore I thought that uh, we would be able to find uh, the uh, biological foundation uh, for human beings' uh, mind and uh, behaviors. I think uh, this was also used by uh, Dr. Suwa, uh, this is uh, uh, the relationship of uh, humans and uh, non-human animals. So uh, we could take a look at humans from the outside uh, by uh, researching uh, these uh, primates. I would uh, like to uh, uh, talk in a, with plain words. I hope you would relax and uh, enjoy. I live in Kumamoto. Uh, I uh, came to Kyoto two days ago from Kumamoto, and uh, uh, we have uh, Kumamoto Sanctuary, which is uh, with the Wildlife Research Center of Kyoto University, and uh, we have uh, uh, 56 chimpanzees and uh, uh, six bonobos uh, are kept. Uh, you can see that all faces are different. You are able to distinguish the faces. And uh, I will be able to identify each individual animal. But uh, among chimpanzees and bonobos, uh, they also distinguish uh, their faces. And uh, depending on uh, the individual, uh, they change the attitude. Some get along with each other well. Some uh, continue to fight with each other. And therefore, there are social relations uh, among these apes. I would like to uh, give you somewhat of a in self-introduction, which is related to my uh, early observation. In 1996, when I was uh, still working with the Primate Research Institute of Kyoto University, uh, I joined as a graduate student, and I was observing the behaviors of the chimpanzees kept uh, at uh, the Primate Research Institute. And at that time, uh, we had a playground for the chimpanzees, and uh, uh, the human beings uh, would be able to go in there and observe their behaviors. And uh, when I was observing one day, uh, a lot of m noise were made, and uh, all of a sudden I heard a big thump. And when I looked uh, at the playground, uh, the uh, female chimpanzee called uh, Pucci uh, was uh, rubbing her uh, back. I didn't know what was happening, but we had a recording with a VHS and a mini 8 millimeter video cameras, and so we tried to find out what happened and to found out what has happened by looking at the video. I was the first uh, year graduate student, and uh, when I uh, gave a presentation at a meeting, I edited this uh, video with my own narration. So it come, it's all, already 20 years old, uh, but I hope you would enjoy it. 
uh, Puji uh, rubbing her back, and there is another chimpanzee uh, named Ai. And Ai and uh, Puji uh, probably did not get along with each other well. And uh, so please take a look at this video, noting that uh, social relationship between the two. So this is the playground. There is a dome, and uh, um, humans can go in there to observe. This is the episode. Please uh, look at uh, the central part of the image video. Now, Puchi has been pushed uh, by Ai and uh, Puji fell off. Uh, please uh, take a look once again. Please uh, watch Ai and Puji. So Ai pushes uh, Puji off the wall. I think uh, you saw that uh, something fell. Once, once again, for the final occasion. So, you can see that the outcome was that a male chimpanzee, Akira, a Puchi was looking at Akira and uh, from the back, uh, Ai uh, approached uh, Puchi and uh, pushed her off. And uh, she um, joined other chimpanzees, uh, uh, being uh, uh, pretending that nothing has happened and she had nothing to do with it. And therefore, uh, you can see that uh, there is uh, quite a high social intelligence among the chimpanzees. Of course, uh, this is not so pretty. I would like to leave these ugly pictures and uh, let me move on to something more heartwarming. So this is social learning, a research or study called social learning. In the other video, video the chimpanzee Ai I gave birth to a child in year 2000, and uh, Puchi also uh, gave birth uh, to her daughter Pang, uh, also around that same time. And another pair, another mother gave uh, birth uh, to uh, a baby, and uh, so I uh, tried to study these uh, three uh, mothers and uh, uh, children, and uh, I tried to find out uh, how they use tools. This is rather difficult to see, but uh, there is a transparent uh, wall, and chimpanzees are uh, on the other side of the transparent wall. And uh, on this side, uh, uh, there is a container uh, having uh, um, honey in it. And uh, there is uh, one hole in the wall. And uh, so if a chimpanzee want to lick the uh, uh, the uh, honey, uh, they would have to use a tool uh, to uh, push uh, a certain uh, uh, long stick uh, inside the hole and uh, to soak the uh, stick uh, into the honey and uh, lick it by extracting it. And uh, so I wanted to find out how the babies uh, would learn from the mothers. So this is the two pairs of mothers and infants. And so the mother is able to utilize the tool, so she continues to soak and lick the honey, and uh, the baby looks enviously at uh, the mother. And the baby cannot do anything at this time. But just because uh, the baby cannot do anything, uh, uh, the baby doesn't uh, remain as is, and uh, she, uh, the baby would uh, uh, try to become involved. But uh, there are two types of attitudes the mother can take. Uh, she will not allow the baby uh, to uh, come close or to lick the honey. But she's not all that mean at all times. Uh, sometimes uh, uh, she would let the daughter uh, lick the honey off the stick. 
this is also the mother is using the tool, the baby tries to take the stick but failed to do so. And the mother picks it up uh, and uh, uses a tool, soaks uh, the honey into the honey. Uh, the baby tries to take it away from her again, uh, but uh, she fails. Uh, so the mother ultimately gives a stick. So, but uh, it's the stick already licked by the mother, and therefore there is no uh, honey on the stick anymore when she gives it to the daughter. So. Of course, the baby uh, tries uh, uh, to uh, do that uh, by herself as well. Uh, initially, uh, the daughter is clumsy uh, and tries very hard, but by age two, uh, the chimpanzees will become able to use uh, the tools. Uh, of course, uh, uh, in the early case, uh, at an age of one uh, and uh, seven, a year and seven months, uh, uh, they could use the tools. So they would learn from the mothers. And regarding social learning, uh, I uh, also has have uh, uh, engaged in other research uh, at the Parliament Research Institute uh, and con continue to uh, engage in research uh, to see how tool is used for nut cracking. So a chimpanzee is uh, taught by a human as to how to do this, and then uh, this uh, chimpanzee is put together with uh, others uh, who haven't learned that from the human. And so uh, one chimpanzee who learned it uh, is able to do that, uh, and uh, they would look at it and uh, try to learn how that could be done. And so everyone become able to crack the nut. So the question is, what happens to the baby? Uh, at the top, it says that at the year and 11 months, uh, first uh, the baby succeeded. So this is the videotaping uh, when it w when the j the baby actually succeeded. Uh, initially, uh, the baby used the ha the hand uh, to uh, bang on the nut. Still, is unsuccessful. Uh, but she uh, continues uh, on, uh, this time using the stone. And then uh, she's successful. She uh, takes the nut and uh, puts the mouth, nut in her mouth and uh, goes somewhere more quiet uh, uh, to enjoy the nut. And she does this because of a different reason. The mother is a little mean. She doesn't teach. Uh, she uh, prevents uh, her from uh, eating the nut. So this is immediately after she succeeds uh, first, uh, and uh, she is uh, attempting to crack the second nut. And the mother comes, and uh, uh, she t tries to take away the nut from the baby. But. Uh, she, the baby uh, continues to try hard, uh, bringing another nut, uh, trying to crack it, but the uh, mother is trying to jump on her, and so she takes away the nut and uh, eats it uh, herself. Uh, and uh, so uh, she is quite mean, taking the nut away from the baby, but uh, the, the baby uh, uh, still tries very hard and uh, runs away from the mother. So the nut is in the baby's mouth, and the mother tries to open, force open the mouth uh, to, to take away the nut. Now, this uh, is not what all chimpanzees do. Uh, uh, on average, uh, uh, the mothers are more gentle and kind and generous. But uh, there are extreme cases like this as well. But uh, what I can say is that uh, uh, there is no active teaching. Chimpanzees uh, uh, do not uh, go 
to teach actively, uh, so that is reserved still for humans. Now, moving on to cooperative behavior. I wanted to find out whether chimpanzees uh, would cooperate with others. And so in the playground, we dug a hole in the ground, and uh, in, we left uh, some food in the container. And uh, the uh, hole was uh, covered up uh, by this uh, heavy stone. Uh, and this was so heavy that uh, a single chimpanzee would not be able to move this uh, lid. You needed a cooperation uh, from another. And so I wanted to see whether two chimpanzees would cooperate to uh, remove the lid or the cover. And it's initially, they did not cooperate at all. There are two chimpanzees. One would pull, the other would just look at it and uh, not do anything. But uh, when the other stops pulling, uh, then the other chimpanzee would stop pulling, but not at the same time. So, as uh, the one chimpanzee is pulling, uh, the other would just uh, sit there and watch. And when the uh, other stops, uh, then the second one would uh, start pulling. Of course, uh, this uh, doesn't lead to anything uh, uh, constructive, and therefore I wanted to create a different situation. I decided to become a partner of the chimpanzee because uh, I would have an easier time controlling the chimpanzee. So uh, I wanted to create a situation where the chimpanzee would have to understand that uh, uh, she would uh, require my cooperation. I have uh, already shown her the direction as to uh, which direction to pull. If uh, she would be cooperative, uh, she would pull in the same direction. Uh, that was the hypothesis that I have uh, formulated. And initially, uh, we, it did not succeed. So I decided to pull towards the left. If Chimpanzee understood that uh, meaning, uh, uh, she would have pulled in the same direction, but uh, she doesn't understand. She'll so stubborn, continuing to pull in the different direction. But uh, oh. but since uh, nothing happens, she decided to pull in the same direction as myself, and uh, we were able to get the food. Both are happy. And uh, when we uh, repeat this, there will be learning, so that uh, from the beginning uh, uh, we could pull in the same direction. And uh, we created another situation. I will just stand there, showing no interest, uh, trying to find out whether chimpanzee would uh, try to get my attention to cooperate with her. So this is the initial uh, recording. I stand a little a distance away from the stone, and the chimpanzee, first of all, tries to pull by herself. But of course, uh, the, uh, it is so heavy that uh, she alone cannot uh, pull the uh, stone away. Then she takes my hand, and she brings me to the stone, and we can pull together. So, initially, from the uh, first uh, test, uh, chimpanzee could uh, uh, do that. Seen from the other direction, first of all, uh, she pulls by herself, doesn't work. And as uh, she pulls my hand, brings me to the stone, urges me to pull together. So uh, human 
working with the chimpanzee could work together in partners. Then what about two chimpanzees? So we wanted to test that once again. But of course, the stone was too heavy. It was very difficult to prepare that situation, and therefore we wanted to create something that would be easier to test. I tried to think of new ideas, and uh, the idea was this. In order to study the behavior of the chimpanzees, one of the researchers' important uh, task is to think about the new experiments. This can be made quite easily if you go to a DIY center. And uh, this is a uh, styro, uh, very light, uh, with a hole in it. And you can just uh, 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 pull a string inside the hole. And uh, the two ends are placed like this. And uh, the test is done in this way. This is the test uh, chamber of the chimpanzee. And once again, there is the transparent uh, uh, glass wall. And on the other side, uh, there is a chimpanzee. And uh, uh, there is a little open space underneath the transparent wall. And uh, this uh, block is uh, uh, placed outside uh, on which, on top of which uh, there is a food placed. and. Uh, the two ends of the string is uh, in the chimpanzee's uh, chamber. So even if you want to reach to the uh, the uh, orange, you can't reach it. But if you pull those two strings at the same time, you can get the stone closer. But if you pull only one of the string, then you, the, you can't uh, get the stone closer. With this scheme, uh, I taught the chimpanzees to how to do this um, individually. And then after each of them learned the process, I connected the two stones. Then I connected those two stones with long string and then put the tip of the string to the room where chimpanzees are staying. So those two chimpanzees have to pull at the same time with this device. We tried several times, and they eventually came to be able to cooperate with each other. There are two chimps, and both of them are taking time to pull the string at the same time. This is the same event from a different angle. The one chimp is waiting for others to pull the string, so they understand that they have to pull the string at the same time. This is the more difficult version. I haven't published a paper based on this experiment, and I don't have time to write a paper out of this. But the question here is if they can act in a reciprocal way. I created a device, a juice a dispenser. If you press button A, then the juice is dispensed from B. And then if you press a button B, a juice is dispensed from A. If you want to have, um, uh, if you want to have juice, if there are several people, one person will press button A for person for the second person, and the second person would press button B for the other person. Then both of them can drink juice. So the question here is the same thing can happen if they do the same as human. It's a bit dark, but this is what happened. There are several chimpanzees, but there is only one. You can see if you press the left one, the juice is dispensed from the right, but if it's too late, but it's too late if you reach the right one. So the chimp is in trouble, so he tries to press the 
right one and then press the <laughs> left one. And he can dispense the juice from both sides, but he can't drink it. He tried so many times, but he couldn't solve the problem. Uh, he tried to solve the problem on his own, and he drove away other chimps other than uh, try to uh, uh, um, induce them to help him. So when we compare chimpanzees with a human, human being can behave uh, for others. So human being is better at acting for others. So this is the next experiment. This is an experiment with more expensive device. This is a measurement of uh, uh, eye sight. This is uh, called uh, this device is called eye tracker. With this device, you can see where a person or a chimp is looking at. This is a comparison between a chimp, a human baby, and a human adults. When they are looking at a person in the, on the screen where they are looking at. This is a um, comparison between a chimp and a um, human baby and um, a human baby and an adult baby. On the screen, a person, a lady is holding a bottle of orange juice and pour it in a glass. When they are looking at this behavior, where exactly they are looking. This is an eye tracker result of a human baby. This shows where a human baby is looking at. The red dot indicates where the baby is looking at. A lady pours juice, the baby first look at the face of a lady, and then the cup and the glass and the face and the glass and the face. So it's like the baby is comparing the face and the glass. This is a case of a chimp. They look at juice, glass, juice, glass, juice, juice, juice. So he lo keeps looking at juice. This may be because juice is something they like to drink. So we other we tried other things, but chimps never look at or rarely look at the face of a human. So one thing we can conclude is that in the case of human, they comprehend the information of the relationship between a person and himself and the juice, the, sub, uh, the object the person on the screen is handling. So in, uh, to, understand, to understand the situation comprehensively, they look at both. But in the case of Chimp, he only looks at the relationship between the juice and himself. If there is no object, uh, he will look at the person. So there is only two parties he can think of. So out of this, we can conclude that pers a person is more associated with the relationship between the environment and the person. So these are the recent topics. About one and a half years ago, Uh, Bonobo was introduced to Kumamoto Sanctuary. This was the first Bonobo kept in Japan. As Dr. Sua mentioned in his pre presentation, chimps and bonobos are very uh, related with each other, and their appearances are similar, but their social behavior are very different. Put simply, chimpanzees are aggressive, and this is a male-dominant society, and there is a very clear hierarchy in their society. And they use various kinds of uh, tools, in, even in the wild. On the other hand, bonobo are very peaceful, and it's female-dominant, and they don't use tools in the wild. By 
studying the difference between those two apes, maybe we can have a better understanding about the human being. And that's uh, the reason why we started uh, studying bonobos. But uh, just studying the bonobo in captivity is not enough. So we decided to look at uh, observe the bonobos in the wild between uh, August 6th and 31st of uh, 2010, we went to Wamba village of Congo. This was a study site created by Dr. Kano of Kyoto University. This itself is not a topic of study, but I just wanted to show you uh, what the field study is like. This is the capital of Congo, Kinshasa. We used a chartered plane to go to the site. This is the view from the airplane. It's all forests. This is the airplane. This is very different from Japanese airplane. I mean, airports. This is just an open land with um, a waiting room. This is the airport in this country. There is not a single car in the prefecture, so we used a motorbike to go to the site. It took about two hours to get there. And this is the village. Lower left is the team members of the study. So this is in the forests. We observed the wild bonobos. And there is one characteristic of bonobos. That is, and this is a picture in which bonobos from two different groups are living or uh, staying with each other. It will never happen in the society of chimps. They will kill each other, even kill each other. But in the case of bonobos, they will never kill each other. So, or we have not observed any such case. Even if they are from the two different groups, they can stay peacefully. Old and young, uh, female and male, they can all mix together. And their voices are very characteristic. They have very high pitch voice. It looks like uh, it's a very easy task. Hi, uh, we had to record uh, such behaviors among hundreds of flies. Uh, it's like this, going into our nose and uh, ears, and uh, still we had to persevere. This a uh, very difficult situation. So it was like this. This is the research station where we stayed during the field work. Uh, which was uh, constructed by our predecessors. Uh, and uh, on the left-hand side, we have a bath, uh, it, just uh, uh, um, where you are able to ba take, a, take a bathe, and also a hole uh, dug in the ground, which is a toilet. This is uh, what we ate. Uh, Africa uh, grows rice, and uh, therefore we were able to have rice almost every day. Uh, as for proteins, uh, uh, the local people ate lava like this. Uh, they sell like this, and uh, they fry the lava. It's, it doesn't really taste bad, uh, but uh, uh, if you uh, eat them, uh, it somehow was uh, sickening in a case because uh, it had heads and tails with it. And uh, so uh, we are back at the Kumamoto Sanctuary comparing chimps and uh, uh, bonobos. But uh, in a captive situation, that uh, a social uh, relationship uh, could be observed. And uh, I would like to give two examples. At the Kumamoto Sanctuary, we hold birthday parties. In case of bonobo, uh, the so this is a party to celebrate uh, uh, the birthdays of chimpanzees or uh, bonobo by giving them uh, better food than what they get uh, day to day. In case of bonobo, so on the right uh, we have Renoir uh, and uh, the. Uh, 
other honorable Yoshiki, and uh, they tend to engage in sexual behavior. Uh, and uh, of course, it is not a reproductive uh, behavior, but uh, it's sort of a sexual behavior just to show affection to each other. In case of uh, uh, chimpanzees, it is quite different. Of course, we could anticipate what would happen, but uh, the male chimpanzee tend to boast, uh, and uh, we knew that that would happen. So the uh, it was a, a female chimpanzee uh, celebrating the birthday, and therefore we wanted to leave the males out first and then uh, have the males join after the party. So this is what happened. So this is the... Uh, chimpanzee uh, celebrating the birthday. As long as uh, they're only females, everything is peaceful. But when the male chimpanzee comes in, uh, the male chimpanzee would have to make the point that uh, he is strong, above all. And uh, he's not the boss, actually. There is an even stronger leader, and so the leader comes and uh, makes the point again that he's uh, stronger. So for chimpanzee male, Rather than eating the food, uh, it is more important to, to make the point that he is strong. I think uh, I'm running out of time, so let me uh, show you some uh, uh, research results we just uh, came out about a month ago. Using the eye tracker, uh, we uh, find out found out uh, the eye. Uh, movement of uh, how chimpanzees and bonobos uh, look at a picture. In case of this, bonobo uh, looks at the chimpanzee or bonobo, and uh, they tend to focus on the eyes. Once again, uh, there is a focus on the eyes. In case of humans, uh, looking uh, at eyes uh, of the other uh, of course, is a sort of an affection, uh, behavior of affection. But in case of uh, ape, uh, um, uh, monkeys, other than apes, if you if they uh, focus on the eyes, it's uh, a more of a combat-ready uh, type of uh, uh, behavior. But in case of chimpanzees, uh, compared with uh, uh, bonobo, oh, there is significant reduction in of in focusing on their eyes, and therefore, roughly speaking, bon bonobos and chimpanzees, uh, um, in both cases, uh, focusing on the eyes. Uh, uh, does not uh, mean that they are combat ready and to fight. Uh, they are more on friendly terms. And uh, uh, there is a tendency to uh, uh, keep a focus on the eyes of the other. Uh, but uh, in the wild, other uh, monkeys uh, would uh, uh, not have, have that sort of a social relationship. And I think it's about time to wrap up, so let me skip and uh, try to conclude. This is the introduction of Kumamoto Sanctuary. This is the sanctuary that I work at. Using drones, we get a view from the uh, above. This is a chimpanzee. We observed the monkeys. And I didn't introduce to you today, but we have a touch panel so that those chimps can study. And with bonobos, they're trying to learn things. This is an experiment of nut cracking. A child is looking at the mother cracking a nut. This is a wild chimpanzee. We also try to do a research on the comparison between wild chimps and chimps in captivity. We are not only doing um, research, we also pay attention to the welfare of those chimps so that they can live happily. Now the conclusion. Chimpanzee has their own society, and Bonobo has their own society, too, and they are different. And human beings have our own society, 
some of the aspects of our society is similar to chimpanzee society or vulnerable society, and other aspects are different. Because human beings have our own biological foundation. There are many intuitive aspects, but there are many things that we can learn from learning like how to deal with others. We have to learn all of those things. The same thing applies to human being, studying or teaching. When we think of those words, you may think of mathematics or grammars or homeworks or tests or exams. But social negotiation is another thing that we, you have to learn that applies not only to human beings but also to chimps and bonobos. So this shows us that we will have to learn how to associate with others in a society so that we can maintain proper society or ideal society. When we teach the next generation, we have to pay attention to that aspect as well. Thank you very much.